Aloha and welcome to another episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges STEM Corner brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. My name is Tosa Lobandon and I am the site coordinator at Kalakaua Middle School. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Please also follow at All Stars Hawaii on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to connect with us. In today's STEM Corner segment, we will be making two different types of tinfoil boats and we will be learning about fluid dynamics and hydrodynamics, two concepts that are used in physics and forces of buoyancy. Fluid dynamics is an upward buoyant force acting as equal weight to the volume of water displaced by an object, in this case, a boat. An example of this is when you're at the beach and you lay your body flat to float. The weight of your body pushes down and the water under you is pushing back up because it doesn't have anywhere to go. While fluid dynamics explains how the boat stays afloat, hydrodynamics is the way an object is designed to offset pull or turbulence when in motion, in this case, water. An example of this is the way a torpedo or underwater missile is shaped. It's intended to move extremely fast under the water, so it is created in the shape of a point so that the water can move easily around the item, increasing its speed. Now that we have a little understanding of how buoyancy works, we are going to start on our tinfoil boat for your float challenge. Both boats we are making are traditional designs, but the challenge today is what boat will hold more pennies based on the design and outside factors. While you are designing your boat, I want you to think about how the shape of your boat allows for buoyancy and how did it allow for your boat to hold the most pennies. All right, so for today's challenge, you're going to only need a few items. The first item is two pieces of one foot by one foot tin foil. Please be careful, the edges can be sharp. The second item that you're going to need are freshly washed pennies. I have about 80 in here. The third item that you need is a bowl or a tin pan or anything similar in size. Um, and it should be filled halfway with cool water. And my fourth item is a towel for any messes that we might make. So you can pause now to go grab your items. So the first boat that we will be creating today is the canoe design uh, with pointed edges on both sides. It is a design that allows for speed and distance. The second boat that we will be making is the bark ship, which is known for its ability to travel long distances and hold a lot of weight. A little history lesson because the more you know, shooting star. The oldest boat ever recorded found was thought to be approximately 800,000 years old and was found on the Indonesian island of Flores. In the famous words of Moana, there's more piano. All right, so let's get started on our boats. The first one that I'm going to make is the canoe shape. And I'm going to take my one foot by one foot tin foil and I'm gonna start folding the sides in. So I'm just gonna start on um, this side and it doesn't matter what side you start on, but you wanna kind of make one inch folds. Um, and again, I'm just approximating, not for sure that this is one inch, but you're gonna fold it twice. So I've got two tight folds and then whatever side you do, you're going to do the opposite side. Second, so I'm going to do the same step. I'm going to fold my tin foil in about an inch, maybe a little more, a little less. She's quite sure. One more time. I'm actually going to fold this one in three times just because this boat, we do need a little bit of a shorter middle spot. And this is actually the, the floor of the boat that we are using. So I don't want it to be too big for this canoe boat. So this side has two, this side has three, that's fine. They're both gonna float the same. And then what I'm going to do, turn this paper around and I'm going to fold these in to one, Two, one, two, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put these up, the walls up, so I know kind of where I want to crease it in, and I'm going to take this middle piece, this part right here, and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to oh, 
fold it like this and bring these two side walls in together. So these two sides are gonna touch and you're gonna have a pointy end on the inside. I'm gonna take this pointy corner and just fold it in on itself. Push it out, fold them together. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold it in the middle, make a little gap, bring these two sides, oh, just be careful with the tin foil, bring these two sides together. And then again, there's gonna be a little pointer in the middle and I'm going to fold that in on itself and just kind of bring the walls together and pinch and push. Um, you're also going to have like these little flaps and what I like to do is just kind of fold whatever corners are sticking out over just so that the flaps stay secure and they don't allow water in. You also want to be mindful on the outside of the boat to just kind of push them down. The tin foil is really manageable and it's easy to bend. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that the sides are bent down. And voila, we have a canoe shaped boat. For our second boat, I will be making the bark design which has a rounded back and a pointy front. And I'm going to repeat the same steps with the exception of the fourth step, which will be a little different. So I'm going to do again, two folds at one inch. Please again, be careful of the edges. They can be very sharp. Fold. One and two. Again, please watch out your fingers. Two. We are gonna leave a little bit more space in the middle um, because as you can see in the back of the boat, it needs to be rounded and it does have a flatter, more larger space anyway. So yeah. Then I'm going, oh, I'm going to take the front of the boat going to fold it twice. One, two. And then for the back of the boat, I'm only going to fold it once. All right, so for the front of the boat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, push the middle in and that's going to cause the edges to fold in on themselves. I'm going to take the corner that pops out from the inside. This is how we make sure that the boat is waterproof. And I'm going to fold it in on itself. Again, please be careful. And then these points, I'm just gonna fold in on themselves and so on and so forth until I get to the tip of the boat. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is tin foil, so it's very malleable and it does work with you, which is awesome. I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside. I'm gonna push it in a little bit just so that it creates kind of a tip. And then I'm gonna smash the edges together. And before you know it, you have a tip of a boat. All right, and then for the back, the side that we only folded over once, I'm gonna do the same step except for this time I'm gonna bring the sides up. This is where it can get a little tricky. I'm going to fold, I'm just gonna start on this side. I'm gonna fold these sides in. And when I fold these sides in, you can see that a little flap starts to form. And this is perfect because it will allow you to fold that corner over and create a seal. So you wanna make sure that when you're folding, again, I'll show you on this side, you're gonna bring this side up and then this corner, this side right here is gonna come to this wall. 
you're gonna bring this around and then you have this little flap that sticks up and it's going to go over the edge. And then again, you're just gonna push it down. If there's any pieces sitting up, just fix them. And I'm actually going to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And voila, you've got your pointy tip and your round tip of your boat. All right, so now we are gonna test our boats to see how much each can hold. Again, I have a total of 80 freshly washed pennies here, and I'm actually going to use the bark ship because I like how it has a flat bottom and a wide hull. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just put my boat on the water, make sure that it floats first, give it about 10 seconds to make sure no water is seeping in. That's your true test to see if any water is coming in. And I don't see any water, so let's start adding our pennies. ended up holding 48 pennies. Good job, little bark ship. Now that you have both boats, your canoe and your bark ship, the challenge is to compete with someone on whose boat can hold more pennies and how many pennies did your boat hold? We want to see your boats and would love to hear who won. If you also know another cool way to fold a tin foil boat, share with us by commenting down below. And again, don't forget to share, follow, and comment on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, at All Stars Hawaii to connect with us. Thanks for hanging out and aloha.